Hey guys, I'm going to do a hair tutorial, and it's going to be on the look that I showed you in one of my outfit of the days, which is like the curly, elegant, the elegant bun with the two curly pieces with the braid. And I know that Swiss Chocolate 14 did a video very similar, like almost the exact same hairstyle. And I like I know that people are going to be like, oh my gosh, you popped her when I use that like I saw that hairstyle in 17, but then I did use like her tutorial to create it because it's a clown tutorial. A lot of people don't know what I'm talking about when I say this, and a lot of people requested me to show you how I do it because I do do it differently than, I actually do a lot differently than she does it in my opinion, but I just want to show you guys that. So, so in case you haven't seen that, I just really want to do this tutorial. I don't want people commenting, freaking out because this is in no way trying to copy or anything like that. I just wanted to show my viewers who didn't see that, who don't want to show how I do it. So the first, you just need a couple things. I'm going to tell you what you need. A hairbrush. This is just one from Bedhead that I have conveniently. A bobby pin, this is a black one, it's like pink, um, pendants, rhinestones, I'm gonna really film, video filming new today, and then a hair tie, it's probably a thick one, this is a thick one, I don't know why, I think I got this at H&M, they have packs of these really thick round ones with no, like, end point, like, ugh, it's like glued, but, you know, and a straightener because you need it, well, or a hair curler, but I prefer the way a straightener curls it, but yeah, I'll talk about the straightener later. So, first thing I'm going to do is just brush my hair. Even though it is already brushed, I'm just going to rebrush it. And my hair is already straightened because you probably want to start with straightened hair. You don't really have to start out with straightened hair, but it does work better if you start out with straightened hair. I straightened my hair this morning, so. So, yeah, that's so. Um, now, I have a lot of questions about my hair. I just want to answer really quickly. One is, have you dyed it? I've never dyed my hair, ever. And I don't want to because it does will damage it. Um... Oh, people also ask me about like how I ask it to be cut. I ask usually just I'm trying to grow it out. Long. I know it's long to some people, but mine used to be down to my butt, so, like even lower. So this is not long to me. But um, I just ask for like side slip bangs. Kind of I don't. I'm growing them out. I kind of don't want bangs anymore. Like I want them like. I feel like it would maybe maybe better if they're blended. In. I don't know. So yeah. Ooh. Sorry, I hate when people text the videos, and I know that I, I, like, I have, feel so bad when I don't respond to someone. Maybe just me. I just, I'm like, I don't, know, I, I don't know what it is about me, but I just feel bad if I don't respond to someone. I, even if I don't like that person, I just feel like so they might be having a bad day, and they might think, like, texting me make them feel better. I don't know. I'm a freak. You know, let's just get started. So the first thing you're going to do is you're just going to, like, take a piece. So, so if you part your hair more to one side, like me, like I part it more to left side take a part from like the right side and just take a little piece of hair like i don't know about this long as much as you think you want for a thin braid or thick braid you can do whatever size braid you want i prefer thin i'm just gonna just braid this part of my hair which is really easy it's just a three braid not anything fancy if you want you can go ahead and do a fishtail or something cool but i'm kind of a loser i don't know how to do fishtail braids i think my mom ugh, my phone i put a new setting that like does this little beeping rain thing. It's pretty cool. And then there's and then I know some people like little fancy other braids, snake tail. I don't know what it's called. I can't do that, so I'm just gonna stick to the basics. I think I'm gonna start doing nail tutorials because my um Jay Prims, I love watching her videos. She started doing them, and like I change my nails really often. I do do creative things with my nails. Like I actually I think I'm pretty good at like doing nails. Like I do creative like duo color glitter. I draw like flowers. I don't know. I'm really into my nails. But yes, yeah, so then when it's like at the end, I'm just gonna take it around and at the back of your head, I'll just I'll turn around really quickly. Hit it approximately I'm just like halfway. Okay, well, sorry. Uh, hit it halfway and like hit it at an angle. And then it helps. And then put your like just put your some of your hair over it. You don't have to just a little bit. And this is also a hair so you can just wear just this. Just wear your hair just like, and this is a really cute way to wear your hair, I've done it before. Just with like your natural hair, then just this part braided back, kind of add some spice. And I'm going to be really rude and interrupt my video. I'm, I'm going to say, hold on. So, uh, yeah. That's, this is what you're going to do. And now what you're going to do is cool part. No, it's not really the cool part. You're going to keep these two pieces of your hair. Woke up and did another bobby pin. Well, if you have bangs, you might want another bobby pin. Just a warning. Yes, I have one. This is a pretty one from Forever 21. It has a little 
rhinestone right there. So, you know, I'm going to leave, like, these two pieces of your hair and your bangs out. And take the rest back and just do it into a bun like you would normally do your bun. Just, like, to the side, though. To the left, or to the side where you part most of your hair. And you're just going to spin it around. Spin it around. Make it kind of loose, but not really. <laughs> do what you feel is right. And then you're going to take it and you're going to swirl the hairband around very tightly in an aggressive manner. So that you're probably ripping like half your hair out. But there we go. And then it stays. And now it looks stupid, right? I know. So you're going to take your bangs and you're just going to pin them like next to your ear. God. Whew. Like, so someone you can't see your ear, because I don't know, I feel like I look an elf. Someone told me that. They're like, you do that, you look an elf with your ears hanging out. I was like, thanks, man. I feel so good about myself. Okay, um, no. So, and I'm just gonna, I just pinned it right there, over my ear. So it looks like an elf. And I'm gonna use a straightener. And this is my hot straightener. This is from hotness.com. I discovered it through a guru, I forgot her name. I really totally forgot. I don't know if you know who I'm talking about. Some of you used this recently. So I discovered it and I really like it. So I got one and I got this one. It's called Exotica. Exotica. And I really, really, I really like this hair styling. It's so cute. But, um, and I guess you do need longish hair for this hairstyle. I think really anyone can do it. I mean, your just bun would be like smaller. And these would be maybe shorter. I don't know. And if you have, like, a bob, you obviously can't do this, but, like, if your hair's, like, here or longer, if your hair's really long, it'll still work, okay? Anyway, so this is my straightener, and I really like it, and it, I know, it's right now it's on off mode, so it's what it looks like. It's Cheetah, and it, like, opens up, and it's pretty cool. And I'm gonna, and then you turn it on by holding the on-off button, just hold it. And then this, right now it's at 356 degrees, and I like it at 450, which is really hot. That's the highest it goes, which is cool. So I'm just gonna, you can like press one at a time. I'm just gonna hold it down and go. Look at me go. Wow. And it heats up so fast, it's hot. It's already at 450. It's really, really hot. And I already have heat protected in my hair. So I didn't show that. So then I'm gonna show you how to curl your hair as a straightener. It's like a two in one tutorial. Fabu. It smells. I, like, that's a burning smell. Oh, my other, my other straightener smells so bad. It's gross. I'm just gonna wait for it to heat up a little more. Cause I need it to be extremely hot. It's like it is it fully there? It shows you how it's heating up. It's really cool. You can like see it heating up. Can you do you look at it? Look at it. It's 380, 385. Look at it heat up. Look at it go. Okay, so me and my friend posted a video of this really large African American woman that dancing, like shaking her butt to this one of my friend's walls on Facebook and we wrote, Look at me go. That's funny. Okay, ah, it's at 450, it's really hot. So you're gonna take it. You're gonna straighten the piece first. You see the seam? Okay, well, anyway, you're gonna take it, and you're gonna twist it upside down, and just keep it, like, parallel, like, straight, and pull it down. Okay, well, that's a fail. That's not how it's supposed to look, so I'm gonna re-straighten it. Oh, I know what I did wrong. I'm sorry. I know why. You're not supposed to keep it parallel. Wow. Oh, no, stupid. Oh my ass. Okay, I'm gonna brush it now. Okay, I'm not gonna edit this part out because I wanna show you that I did make a mistake. And if you make a mistake like this and do something stupid. Okay, so now I'm gonna take it straight and turn it one more time because Baby, one more time. Du, 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 one more time. Okay. Oh, 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 I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna point it up. Okay, just point it up. I forgot about that. And then I'm gonna go down. Watch it not work again. It's gonna be great. Oh, yeah, it didn't really work at the end. Okay, so. There we go. So, do you see how pretty that curl looks? I think it's gorge. And see how it covers my ears? Look at that. Yeah, it's great. So, I'm gonna do the other side now. My bang fell out. Mm. Great. This happens. So, you might wanna. Pin it back again because it's a mofo and it won't stay where it's supposed to stay. Come on, hair. There we go. And now uh, I'm going to say, this piece is really thick that I took out. So you might be able to do two. So you might, you might have to do two. I'll just do two. 
they're gonna pull it down gently and slowly as if you're pulling your wand. Not really. Yeah. And I'm curling it toward I think I'll do three curls. I think I like I feel like I can do three with this because it's just so I took a lot of hair out. So you should probably take a little bit less out. But you know. That's great. One more curl. Can't see. Man. Yeah, it's this piece. It's this piece right there. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna twist it over. And then pull it down. Look at me go. Oh yeah. Woohoo, okay. So it kinda looks weird on the side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like roll them all together though. By, like, see? So this is the completed look, and now what I'm gonna do. I can't look stupid. But whatever. I think it's elegant, okay? I just chug the cab press it. When he is not your mother's all eyes on me, shape and shine spray. Yeah. Let's do it. I'm not gonna use all because I don't like my hair crunchy and I just washed it. Ooh! <coughs> it smells really it smells like apples and cherry blossom. Oh, that's it. I don't like a lot. I don't like the capsule. This can't fit. Not really. It's too far. I don't wanna get up. So yeah, this is what it looks like. like it's really easy to do, like, I just showed you how to do it all, and this takes, like, I was going slowly because, like, I stuck talking while I'm doing it, but in the morning when I'm in a hurry, this is really easy to do, and it looks really cool, but you should probably take less hair on, on the side, and I probably should wear some earrings because I had earrings in, but then I had a soccer game, so I had to take them out, and I had necklace, and I had to do same. I had no accessories, I'm so boring. Oh, oh, and I'm going to show you how to turn the strainer off. You click the off button, and then it says off. And it's off. Pretty cool. It's really cool. I like it. So, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and have a great day. Love you all. Bye.